and welcome to the Kids First with Cup. I'm Lila, and today we will be making pinwheels. Come and check it out. To create our pinwheels today, we're going to use a variety of different pattern papers. This is called Electric Summer, and you can use whatever you've got at home. We're also going to use some push pins, as well as some scissors. We're going to use some pencils. You can use new ones like these or ones that you have at home that are sharpened. They just have to have an eraser at the top. And we're also going to use our trimmer. Let's get started. Next, we're gonna cut our pattern paper into squares. Your squares can be any size you like depending on the size of pinwheel you wanna end up with. But a good tip is that if you cut your paper to six inches by six inches, you will get four squares out of one piece of pattern paper and they make really great size pinwheels. So for the first design we're going to be making today, you could end up with four simple pinwheels. Also remember that all of your paper is double-sided so you can use either side. The next thing you're gonna have to do is find the center of your paper. An easy way to do that is to take your trimmer and use the edge of it as a ruler. So you're just gonna line up top corner and bottom corner along the edge of your ruler or your trimmer edge and then you're going to take a pen and you're going to make a line right in the center. If you do this with a pencil you can erase it after. I'm doing it with a marker so you can see what I'm doing on camera. So you'll make a little tick and then you'll go ahead and take your piece of paper, rotate it, and then go from opposite corner to opposite corner. And that is going to create an X at the center of your paper. Now you're going to take a push pen and you're gonna stick it through that X that you just created and you're gonna wiggle it around. Wiggling it around will help make your pinwheel spin more easily. Now you're going to take your trimmer and you're going to cut from the corner of your page right to about one inch from that center mark. And you're going to end up doing it on all four sides. So a good rule of thumb is that um, indicator on your trimmer, that little pointy part that um, you can see where you're about to cut into. Once that gets close to the center of your page, you'll know that you're about an inch away. And you're gonna do that again on all four sides. Next, what we're gonna do is take our pin and stick it through the back side of the bottom right corner. And what we're going to do is make sure that we do that same corner all the way around. You can do that by taking a pen and just marking the bottom right corner each time all the way around. The next step can be a little bit tricky, so you might need to ask a parent for help. What you're going to do is you're going to gather the corners that we just marked with our pen. So you're always going through the back side of the paper and you're going through that um, marking that you made with the pen on the bottom right corner of each of those triangles. So once you've gathered up all four of them, it will start to resemble a pinwheel. I do apologize that some of this was off screen. I didn't realize it when filming, but it should look like this when you get all four on. And then what you're gonna do is push your pin all the way through that center hole that you initially made. And then you're gonna take your pencil and you're gonna stick that back end of the the push pin through the eraser and now you're going to have a pinwheel. Now if you've mastered our simple pinwheel I want to share with you how to make a more complicated one. So what we're going to do is take two pieces of the six by six paper that we had initially cut out and we're going to stack them together one on top of the other and we're going to cut them at the same time and this is just to save some time. So what you'll do is you'll put them in your trimmer corner to corner and you're going to slice them in half. And next, you're going to use the 45 degree indicator on your trimmer to help you cut these two triangles in half as well. So just make sure that the edge of the left edge of your paper is lined up with that 45 degree angle marking. And then your top corner is lined up with your cutting mark on your cutting blade. And then you can go ahead and slice that in half. This will leave you with your first four triangles. So we're gonna do the same a second time so that we end up with a total of eight triangles. Now that you've got all of your triangles ready, we can move on to the next step, which is to cut two pieces of square paper out of scrap cardstock. 
then you're going to go ahead and you're going to add glue to one of the squares and this is going to be your kind of base that you glue all of your triangles onto so you'll first take your first triangle and you'll take the top corner and you'll go ahead and you'll line up that top corner to the center of your glue blob so once it's in place this is going to set the stage for the rest of your triangles so you're going to take your next triangle and you'll flip it over so that you've got a different design and you're going to line it up at a 45 degree angle from your first and how you're going to know you're in the right space is it's going to line up with the center of your first triangle that you put down so um, you'll know because you're along the center of that first triangle and then you're going to pick up your third piece and you're going to line up your left edge with the right edge of that first triangle so once you have your two your first two triangles in place the next ones come along super simple because you can just line up your next ones just using um, the previous as a guide so you want to make sure that these are evenly spread around so it's going to kind of look like two squares layered on top of each other when it's all completed and then for the last triangle you're going to go ahead and tuck it in tucking it under that first triangle that you had um, placed initially so that way it's still the every other pattern that you've been creating so you're just going to go ahead and tuck it in under and you should end up with something that looks like this your next step is going to be adhering your pinwheel edges to the center so you're going to go around in a circular motion adhering with glue the corners of your triangles to the center and you're just going to go all the way around until all of the corners have been adhered to the middle of your pinwheel. Once all the edges of the triangles have been adhered to the center of your pinwheel, you're going to take that piece of uh, scrap cardstock that you had cut into a square, that second one, add some adhesive, and just stick it to the center of your pinwheel. And that's just going to help make sure that all of those corners stay down nicely. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take a pin again just like we did on the simple pinwheel you're going to stick it through the center and then you will stick the back side through to a pencil eraser and there you have it two different ways to make a pinwheel a simple way and a more complicated way we can't wait to see what you create with your pattern paper bye